terrific three-point shooter, one of the best in the history of the school. Graves into the game a couple of minutes ago, not starting for Kansas and dealing with a bad right knee, played limited minutes in game one. Wayne Simeon, he might have a monster year this year, Dick. Pace, which is not far off his all-time career high. Oh. How about the alley-oop love to J.R. Gidden? Wow, that was fun. Not perfect to pass by Aaron Miles. It doesn't take much for Jared. JR, here he comes uh -oh, again. Uh -oh. The house is coming down. Oh, my. Oh, my. JR, get it. Wow. Wes Robinson, yeah. a great high school player from Rice High School in New York City. Langford with a steal. Davis gives up on him as Langford slams it home. There's the ball. Hill to the left hand and a partial block there by Graves. Nobody Ooh. back. Simeon, nobody back. From James Naismith to Fog Allen to Larry Brown to Roy Williams. And now Bill Self is 2-0 as head coach of the Kansas Jayhawks. Welcome to the Infinity College basketball tip-off. And welcome to one of the great environments, one of the great scenes, and what's sure to be one of the most memorable games of the college basketball season. You guys have been talking about the backcourt. Let's give a little love to the bigs. And right now, Kansas, a lot of depleted depth. Carlton Bragg, well, he's suspended indefinitely. And of course, Yudoka Azabuki has been out since December 20th with a wrist injury. To move some of the marquee non-conference events into January and February, where the audience is. And quit trying to believe that we can make the audience move to November and December, because we can't. How about some Kansas numbers? 0 for 7 from beyond the arc, one assist and seven turnovers in this game. Not the formula for success. Good shot there by Devontae Graham. There it is. Bob Alon, sniffed out by Colby. He tipped it to Vic. Graham Alon, oh! and Vic over everybody to slam it home. Where Josh Jackson could be so effective. He starts knocking that shot down, forget it. He's got an open look again, and Kansas has the lead. Range to that now, five for six. Mikhailov the kick. Mason, as open as he will ever be, gets the bounce. Hit the heel of the rim. Boy, with four or five minutes left in the first half, looked like they might get blown out. Not only did they not get blown out, they roared to the finish in the first half. Came out, took the lead in the second half, and the Kansas Jayhawks pick up an enormous road win. Handy Kentucky a loss here with the run. It's rare that KU plays a game that's a rematch, and they're the team that wants revenge. But that's the story tonight. What a start for West Virginia. Up by seven early, and their press has had an impact. Bob Wachusen. Here with Dick Vitale and Kelly Hartsung, Javon Carter makes it a double-digit lead to start, and Bill Self wants a timeout. He's got tremendous handles there, changing direction. Jackson. The foul by Lucas in Kansas has their first lead. Stepped it. Carter knocks down a straightaway rainbow three, and it's a seven-point lead at halftime for West Virginia. What a good shooting. At home, Bob Huggins challenged his team to pick up the defensive intensity about four games ago, and they have answered that challenge. And that is really terrific because they shoot 50% as a team. Tariq Phillip. Yes. Hey, there's a straight line drive, man. Right to that basket. Good short. Tariq Phillip tries to go coast to coast and finishes with the left hand. Oh, Gus, my producer, what's going on here? <laughs> People exiting. Pull it back. They can't do that, walk out of the kids. Mason, there's straight away with a step back. There's a big three for Frank Mason. Grand four three. Got it! Mason will drive it with the left hand. What a great pass. He was unbelievable. Bill oh, turns it over. Is. Mason can't run around. Mason needs help. Valuable seconds ticking off the clock. Well, it's a big, big time position. for three. Yes! Carter gives it up to Phillip. Six seconds to go. Phillip with three seconds to go. Tries a three. Off the mark. Bowman's got it. That won't count. We are going to overtime. Drag in the corner with 10 to shoot. Jackson bails him out. Lost his balance. Somehow finds Bragg. Fast to shoot. Fast Devontae Grant for three. 
Presented by Bud Light from the Lloyd Noble Center in Norman, Oklahoma. It's a part of Judgment Week on ESPN as tonight the Kansas Jayhawks take on the Oklahoma Sooners. Got a great hustle over there. You know what's interesting as OU comes away with the ball. Here's Patillo. Spins and scores. Comes out even more in the fact that with this lead by Oklahoma, they may not have to play Taylor Griffin at all. What an improved player, Ron. I mean, behind uh, some great players a year ago. Tyshawn Taylor. Yep. Hey, there's another freshman in this place tonight. Four dribble drives by Sharon Collins, Ron. Morris not there. Aldrich tips the ball away. Collins long three. He got it. 50 to 36. And so that is 28 points. Oh, uh, Kansas was down 14 points at just about the 10 minute mark. And so 28 points more they have put on the board than the Sooners. Warren inside. Leary. Rebound to Texas. Here's uh -oh. Kane Davis. Uh -oh. Collins passed up the three as Patillo had moved out on him, and now he'll take it. Long three. He got it. This is as close as our game has been since back at 32-29, back before halftime. Now you got to play with defensive patience. You're back in the ball game. Collins for three. Yes. Oh. <laughs> remember, Collins loves to play north-south right here. Collins looks up at the clock. It's now at 10. He's going to take another three, and for good reason. Too hard, rebounded on the floor, and Kansas wins a hard-fought battle here in Norman over the Oklahoma Sooners. The Kansas Jayhawks have won or shared the Big 12 regular season title 11 years in a row. If they want to make it 12, Getting this one is in their best interest. He had really been struggling, has been playing his best basketball. He is one tough customer. Harry Ellis, he has really worked on that three. Out of the sideline, he finally picked it up. Green in the corner. And it's a 14-point lead for Kansas. Right now, really good job defensively by Kansas. James got it. Big shot for Christian James. Timeout KU. Goes up. Whoever hits first has got the advantage. And you just knew that when he hit one, it would be a big one. And it's the one to give Oklahoma the lead here in the second half. 
Delvin no. Oklahoma with the lead and the ball. Cousins, heels, got it! Good job to slow it down and set things up by Grant. Call for the ball screen. He'll take the three. Boy, he had all kinds of real estate to line up that three. <laughs> speaks to the parity around the country this year, and it speaks to the strength of this league as well. Woodard will take it. Yeah, he's got a chance for a four-point play. Boy, so much concern for Buddy Heal. Frank Mason helped off of his man, Jordan Woodard. And stunned to Buddy Heal. Then on the closeout to try to get back, he got contact on the shot, and a guy who has been struggling mightily over the last several games, Frank Mason, that's his fifth foul, and he's given up perhaps a four-point play. What a gigantic play down the stretch in this one. And I think I think Isaiah Cousins got to go after him, see if he can make him turn it over. Again, the ball screen, and again, Graham with a wide-open three. And Oklahoma here has got to look when they get the ball back. Boy, that's a big play there. Green, and maybe partially deflected by Heal, but Green just left it away short. But it winds up with Graham hitting another three. And then away from the ball, Graham gets called for a foul. That's going to be two free throws for Buddy Heal. Monte Graham's even pleading his case to the opposing coach. Boy, blockouts becoming for you. Buddy Heal's not going to miss this free throw. He has a 90% free throw shooter. So you got to be prepared for pressure here if you're Kansas. He, he did it. miss it. Holy cow. That might be the most surprising thing of the year. Heal tries to lean in, misses it. Lucas over the top for the rebound, and the Kansas Jayhawks. What a win for Kansas. They beat Oklahoma for the second time this season. Starting lineup last year, now a Big 12 star for Baylor. Garrett into Azabuki for the slam as Kansas breaks the ice. Garrett, up top has a boogie. Woo! The basket, but Abaji didn't see him. Dotson, ultra quick. And then has a boogie with another slam. Ball is loose and it belongs to the Jayhawks. Boy, all five guys have to get on the defensive glass. Great pass. And what a look for Brown. He's not going to miss the. Garrett, up top again, and another finish for as All the screens, the ball screens coming in the middle of the floor to open up that. Blocked. Followed by Azubuki for two more. Trying to get a... Almost threw it away. Oh, they, they did turned throw it, it away. over. What a bad pass by Abadji. Butler. Vital with a reverse. Gillespie shovels it out. Teague for three. It's a rebounding team. You don't want to give them the opportunity to get an offensive board toward the end. Butler. Two seconds. Just short, and Kansas will win it here in Waco. It is a game that will go a long way towards determining who is the champion of the regular season here in the Big 12. I'll get into the paint, get to the rim. Devontae Graham now. And it is a loud crowd here. Crowd wanted to travel, don't get it. And McKay Max Smith has returned as well. You can hear the chant of defense. They love this team's defensive effort. Great ball movement and an open look for McKay Luke. They got the lead on the road early. Well, Texas Tech has to do a better job of guarding the three-point line. That's now six double. Otherwise, he would have gone right into his chest. Gamble by Smith and Garrett oh. makes him to the dance. Always well, got to watch Lob when Vic is in the corner. Great head fake, great pass fake, then the kick. Boy, look at these two handle the ball. I mean, that Graham's calling out a play. Shot clock's running down. He wow. does it again. Ball on a string. Drives. Forces up a player. No pressure on the ball. Two defenders on Graham. 
It's into the hands of Newman. They can't get the foul. And the Kansas Jayhawks have clinched at least a share of the Big 12 regular season championship. 14 conference titles in a row. That is a first in the history of Division I men's college basketball. As Allen Fieldhouse starts to rock on a showdown between the two top-ranked teams in the country. With a movie on Glory Road. Makai Luke from the corner. Because he could do that. Blocked away now. Here's Mason, spot three. Yes. Can't give them all the looks. They can all shoot the three, man. Field at the other end response. Play Dick. Oh, you down by five, hanging in there now. Well, with a guy like Heald, he'd get back quickly. Look oh. at this back to back threes. That's Woodard knocking that one down. Momentum. They got a lot of weapons that can shoot that three. Boomer. Oh, here they come, baby. A strong driver. They got Mason now playing Heal. Spang goes outside. They've got to watch him when he steps out. That's a screen. Oh, well, let's shut it out. Knocked out. Here comes Mason. He's and got our cousins the got an oh. open salvo. We are tied. And some defensive player. Great timing. For the lead. And rattles it in is Woodard. And OU leads it by two. Ben Ellis. Spangler's going to have to defend him. They try to spread the court. Coming right, down in five seconds, they gotta go. Mason! And now a whistle. He pull it. Is there a foul call by over the back on Lucas? Oh! Over no. the back. And he catches. Missed it. Lucas rebound at the buzzer. We got overtime. Got a mismatch here, size wise. Should beat him with quickness. Oh. Woodard on a feed, kicked back out, but he healed. Yes! Oh, show me a better offensive player. He wants to shoot the three. He thought about it. Yep. He's he's now he's right going to go for it. Deadline! Sometimes the guys throwing the ball and bounce, the most dangerous guy. Stepping back. Selden oh. fires for the win. <laughs> Double overtime. Got time. Put in the court. Seven seconds left. He's going to penetrate off the bounce. Mesa pull up. And we go to a third overtime. Woodard to Spangler. Tapped back by Latin. Oh, no, loose. Latin digs it out. Here's Buddy Heal. The three. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh a one point game. 102 101. What a great individual performance by Hill. I thought they would do. But he spins oh, left away. Oh, Jayhawk ball. Smart. Here comes Graham. Graham drives, and the foul is called. Oh! They turn oh, it over. Oh. Here comes Mason. Foul by Buddy Hill. Spangler knocked away. Buddy Hill fires. And Jayhawk, winner classic. In Lawrence, Kansas, the 267th meeting between Missouri and Kansas. And this is probably the last meeting ever in regular season with both teams as common opponents in a conference. Jeff Woody injured at the 17-minute mark in the locker room. The seven-footer for KU with a turned ankle. From the corner, these teams will end up seated and being located in the, in the bracket. So this game has multiple ramifications. Good luck from Here's of Missouri. How about that pick? And there's the shot taken short. But another offensive board for three. And he canned it. The three-point shooting team. And there's Preston doing what he does so well. Double team. Here's Robinson. Turnaround jumper. Yeah. Tough, tough shot there. Yep. Out of Kansas. 
and they would have the tiebreaker edge if the two teams remain tied at the end of the season play. Rockets. He can't look to go for steals at all. Just be solid defensively. What a pass from Elijah Johnson. Not opposed to a good look at the three if you get one. And that's what they're trying to do. There's the dish. Oh. Robinson. Oh. He went down hard. And oh. It's Cressy guarded by Johnson. Takes it all the way. Blocked. Tip. Overtime. How fitting. In the 267th game between these two old rivals. Robinson and Ratliff. And Ratliff playing with the four foul for three. The first lead for KU. Guarded by Tyshawn Taylor. This for the lead. Yes! Situation to prior to the end of regulation, you go inside fairly quickly if you can. Jumper got it. 12 point one to go. Got a good batch of Sean Taylor off the glass and he'll shoot free throw. Back 